Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is my favorite thing ever. Another mascara review. And today, when my nose stops itching, we're going to talk about two Lancome mascaras that I've been trying out. The first one is the Monsieur Big Mascara, and the second one is the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara Volume... Oh, Instant Full Volume Mascara. So... I have both of these in the travel size, and I actually have tried both of these out before. If I'm not mistaken, I think I might have actually reviewed the Hypnos Drama way, way, way back when. And my lashes have definitely changed since I did that video. And I didn't even go back to watch it. Like, I just wanted to have a full, clean slate since I clearly don't remember what I said about it. Um, so I wanted to give it a go again since I had the sample size of it. And then I've also tried the Monsieur Big in one of those very teeny tiny little tubes um, that kind of looks like a little tube, but there's literally only like two or three uses out of it. And that one flaked so bad. And I'm wondering now that I've tried this one, if it was because the tube was so small and maybe it was kind of old or dried out by the time that I received it. So I don't know, but... Let's get into my mascara spiel. Everybody else, go grab a snack, have a break. <laughs> but in this video, you are going to see what the mascara looks like with one coat on my lashes, what it looks like with two coats compared to my naked eye. You will also see these two mascaras compared to each other side by side. And you will see my two favorite mascaras. One is drugstore, one is high end at the end of this video. I'm also going to insert up close action shots of the wand coming out of the tube so that you can kind of see the wand and the formula up close. And also whenever I show you the collage of the two coats versus the bare eye, you will also see an up close picture of the wand. So let's get right into this. The big mascara is $25. It comes in two colors. There's a black and a brown. There's also a waterproof version of this and its main claim is volume. So let's go ahead and look at the wand in here. It is very large and in charge. This is what it looks like coming out of the tube. And there is the wand. You can see that it's almost the size of the opening of my eye right there. Um, and this does have kind of, I would say, medium length bristles on it. It is a regular kind of bristle wand instead of silicone. And there is quite a bit of product that comes off on here, but really only on the base of it, or not the base, the tip. So I like to just knock that off a little bit. And then you can just go right in. It's not one that you have to really knock off a lot of excess product on. Now just talking about formula real quick, this is a very creamy formula. It is kind of thick, but not um, clumpy, gross thick. It does have a lot of slip to it, but the bristles themselves actually grip your lashes really well to pull through the product. So I really, really love that. And you guys know, I love a one coat mascara. I love it whenever it can look really, really good with one coat. And this one definitely fits the bill. With one coat, you get a nice amount of length and separation. It looks nice and wispy. And then whenever you go in with two coats, you just build upon that. It's a lot more volume on the second coat. It's definitely a more dramatic look, um, which is fine. I love that also. And I love that it doesn't get clumpy. You really do get that like volume, but still an amazing amount of length and definition. I love definition in the mascara, so it is just right up my alley. And I love the way that this looks with one coat and with two coats. This was a total winner of a mascara for me, and I've already got it on my list to purchase the full size. I want it, I'm gonna get it. I really like it, and I really, <laughs> I, I said this in my last mascara review for Flower Beauty um, Lash Warrior Mascara, but I feel like that one has the potential to take the top spot for my number one favorite drugstore mascara. I kind of feel like this one could be the same with high end. Um, I really want to get the full size and see if the formula performs just the same. And if it does, and I continue to love it, it very well may, may be taking over the spot from Tarte Gifted, which you guys know I love. It is amazing, 
best mascara. Um, and that doesn't mean that I won't continue to love it, but this is really, really good. And I'm really, really shocked by it. Like I'm on a string of really good mascaras lately and this did not disappoint. Moving on to our second one, the Hypnos Drama. This is $27.50. It only comes in black. There is a waterproof version and it's most, um, hyped up feature is yet again volume same as the other one this is what the wand looks like coming out of the tube this does have a kind of bristle wand same as the other one it's not silicone but the wand is slightly different because it has this waviness to it you can kind of see it there it goes up and down so it's a little bit of like a it almost looks like a tilde you know the little thingy like that um, whenever you bring this out, there's just a little bit excess on the top. I like to just knock that off. The bristles on this one are a little bit thinner and less um, close together compared to the big one. So there is a little bit more space between the bristles. And it doesn't hold quite as much product on there, which is great for the wand. <laughs> Given the fact that it's kind of one of those wonky wands, I would like to have a little bit more separation like this is, as opposed to being close together. That way you don't get any weirdness happening. Now the formula of this one is still very creamy, but I would say that it's a little bit thinner, almost a mousse-like consistency because it's just light as air. Um, whereas the other one is a little bit more of a thick formula. Now again, with one coat, this mascara looks great. I love how it looks. It again gives you a very similar kind of look with the length and the definition and the wispiness. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the one coat. With two coats, yet again, you get that more dramatic look. It's a more volumized look for sure. And you do get a bit more length with it. I feel like um, comparing the two just thinking of the experience of putting it on and then the results and stuff, I think that if I had to choose between the two, big would be my favorite, but this is such a close second that it's kind of like you need to look at the pictures and decide for yourself which final look do you prefer for your lashes. Um, because for me, even it's just like, I kind of want to buy the full size of this one too, because it's just really, really good. Um, I do feel like it's a little bit strange that this one is $2.50 more than the other one. I feel like most brands, whenever they come out with mascaras, they're all priced pretty much the same price, um, unless they're like a two-step or something like that. So that is a little bit weird. Um, and the fact that it does only come in one color instead of the brown also, because I know a lot of people love a brown mascara. Overall though, these are both excellent mascaras. I love the way that my lashes looked with both of them. And for you, it's just going to be, which one do you really like the best um, for your lashes? Because you can see them, you know, compared the, um, you know, one coat, two coat, and the wands right here. And then you can also see those compared to my two favorite mascaras. Um, that's kind of how I like my lashes to look very long and defined. And I feel like even though these are a little bit more dramatic, it's the same principle of that length and definition. And you also get some volume, which I love. I love these mascaras. And I really hope that the trend of having good luck with mascaras continues. I'm looking back here right now and I have a little cup of mascaras that I still need to review and well, to te start testing out and that I haven't even started testing out. And I'm just like, mm, I hope you guys are as good as the others <laughs> because these are darn good. The previous one was darn good. The ones before that were pretty good. So we are doing pretty good over here. I want to tell you guys that the next one that I'm reviewing, I'm going to film that right after this. I'm going to film it right after this is the Koki Volume and Length Mascara. So look out for this one as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed the review. Hope that you got some good information from it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.